Hello, storytellers of Storytelling Run. I've got a new kid-friendly starter kit on the website in the free section. So just go to the member free. Let's see. Let me see if I can do it this way. And so, oh yeah, here's the annual member. Oh, you know, let's go here real quick. Um, and anybody can go here right now, and it just shows you that I'm going to be sort of the, the starting of the annual membership, which is forty dollars. And uh, the Dark Ages, and I'll be putting more stuff here for new adventures and new ideas and stuff. Uh, Apostles of the Apoc is going to be released. It's going to premiere here uh, May 1st. And this is going to be about the Apoc. Well, not the real Apocalypse, but, you know, a cool Gamma World, um, your missionaries and all that. So, And then there's also Christians in Space. We'll come back to that. So you can go check that out. I got that all working now. So anybody can just look, go and look in there. Uh, let me go back to, let me go to the free stuff, which is here. Actually, let me go here and then go to the free area. And right here is the kid friendly starter kit. So what I've done, and this is probably good to know just even for regular GMs, but, um, the first, okay. So it just says, ah, if you can want to print this out or you definitely want to print out a couple of these pages, maybe not all of them, but, but, um, the, this one here might be helpful. Although not necessary. The D20 dice is the main dice to roll to do things. Beat a 12 to succeed in fighting or preaching or other skills. These dice can add to the D20 roll as a bonus from prayers or skills. D, you know, D4, D6, D8, D10, D12. Bonus dice combine their ranks to go up to D12. So I would say maximum of D12 in a kid-friendly kid, kid game. And there can be penalty dice if hurt or other bad things. Um, now, the whole game is kid-friendly, but this is just simpler rules for younger kids. Um, penalty dice roll and add to the goal of 12 to make it harder to succeed. So if there are penalty dice... Um, in the game that you're you're giving them instead of giving it to them to like lower their dice, just take it, roll it on your end, and add it to the twelve to you know for more difficulty. What what they have to succeed at something, and the characters I simplified them a little bit. I took out the rogue. Uh, I took out the as much info as I could on here so that they could just pick and choose from these. And you know, obviously the clergy are going to be able to do blessings and you know, I'll show you that in a sec and the nun though I, I decided hey give her a plus six spirit so she can have a little more spirit for her blessings she really got faith you know the, the nuns do I uh, can use a pan and the patron lady here she's got a dagger and crossbow and have access to all gear put in donkey and cart obviously you know talk to them about that like what, you know which ones they have or not have uh, this is the original character sheet they can use that one it still still will work just fine here I simplified the weapons and the gear so they can just pick some from this and not get too overwhelmed by the info from the original game um and, and this kind of explains it they don't have to read any of this but this explains kind of what the what each one is i did include for dagger and crossbow the lethal on a four so if they roll a four on their damage you know you can give them a minus d4 grievous wound or you could do a bleed they bleed once per turn you know so give them a little more oomph to the patron lady and the, the pan here for the nun it'll stun on a four so that'll give a minus d4 to the person on their next turn if they decide to use the pan, hopefully they'll, but hopefully the nun and the clergy will focus on their f blessings first before they resort to having to use their weapons. Uh, then here's the armor. Then here's the gear they can pick from. This is all just one page for the making their character. And then this is one page of the game. How they, you know, for them, for maneuvers, do another maneuver or do an action, free action, what they can do. The woman's touch. So. They can put this down, the nun and the patron lady, uh, cleanliness and mothering. So awareness and upgradable uh, can add roles to healing wounds, comforts, resting, feigning or fainting society. So feigning is for combat and fainting is for society. Just so you know, but society is the role because um, it's acting and it's upgradable. So it adds role to any distractions in civil or combat situations. Okay. Uh, prayer. So just remind them about prayer and how that works. Glory for the Holy Night. So we, so in this one, this is the only sort of blessing that the knight has, just to keep it simple. And he can add a d4 to any successful hit in the encounter using his faith points. He should have some. Um, if used, also disregards any unholy protections on possessed or unholy things. So he can. So if if he uses it, just disregard whatever unholy additional armor save the, the the skeleton or possessed or you know the possessed bear or whatever or, or demonic spirit has. Um, um, if you want to go that that way with the game, I don't know. I mean, should I mean I think kids can handle that. They, they can see plenty of violent stuff and scary stuff as it is. Um and I was when I was a kid, man, Lord of the Rings was my favorite movie. I didn't like Sesame Street or TV stuff. I mean, I watched it, but I don't I love Lord of the Rings, the original violent um, you know, when I was a little kid. Anyway, so faith and blessings. 
Clergy. So this is, let them have all these. They let them pick from these in the game. They can use any of these. You can explain them to them. Do you want to try to keep it really simple? But basically, I would say just let their faith points be for, for the deliverance, the, the D4 heal, the D4 bless, you know, the D4 protect in just one turn. Let them do it that way. They can do a D6 if they want. You know, and then if, if as you progress, you can sort you sort of add in duration or deluge, you know, to that. Um, but let them get used to it first, and then then you can um, expand on that. And the nuns have plea, heal, repel, heal wounds, re- remove curse or disease. I see an angel and divination, so they can try to do a divination. And any missionary glory points. This kind of explains a little bit about glory points. So you can kind of go over that with them. And then this is the 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 character sheet I did for the starter kit, um, which I found to be pretty, you know, actually kind of works. So I kind of cleaned it up a little. And it's in here if, if you want them to have this one instead. It might be a little easier to read or for them to write. Um, oh, I do have deliverance, duration, deluge down here, but you know, you can just tell them, just do deliverance and we'll work on the rest next time. And, and, and just a thing about the weapons and, and how I have weapon styles in the game, um, in the original game. So, you know, ki- um, kids, well, people that use weapons or fighting, they don't, it, it's not, it not, doesn't mean that they're going to use all the weapon styles in it. It doesn't mean they're even aware of them. They're just fighting regularly. So you don't, you obviously don't need to use any of those weapon styles in the game. This is the regular game. Um, but you know, you, you build those up over time as the players play and they want to sort of get more in, into their weapons. And that kind of makes sense because people fighting with an ax don't know to pull the shield, and you know, that pull thing until they get more experience fighting with the ax. Okay. So that's the starter kit for kids. You can pu- print this out and you know, show them this and give them these options. And, and so they can start a game pretty quickly. Um, and then you create an adventure, you create an adventure, you all you got to do is look at the news today to see what kind of pagan adventure you want to do for sixth century in the dark ages for crying out loud. Really? Um, but of course make it kid friendly. Ugh, okay. Anyway, so I hope this helps for you families out there that want to start this game. The kid friendly, uh, version of the game is right here in these few pages and, uh, have fun and then just build up the rules from there as the kids get used to it. All right. And we well, yeah, remember to tell your kids in the game of life, rule holy dice. I'm a Jack Black thing. Holy dice. <laughs>